try something. I want to see if anyone else sees the world similarly to I do, to how I do. I see the world as a gigantic, one massive, beautifully designed masterpiece. Like a symphony, like a like a last ballad, like a like everything has a beat to it. It doesn't matter what that beat is. It's all part of the same picture, part of the same song. doesn't matter if it's always in tune, if it always sounds right, if it sounds off. It's still part of the same design, the same creation. And it doesn't matter where that creation came from. It doesn't matter why. You can give whatever reason you want to for it. But ultimately, Ultimately, it doesn't matter because what would you do if you had the ultimate truth? What if you? What would you do if you finally met your met your creator? What if you? What would you do if you had irrefutable proof? that your belief is the right belief. What would you do? Would you change the way you live? Would your whole world be turned upside down? Would anything change? nothing changes what's the point of having that proof what if you don't believe in anything what if you just believe we're here we just happen to be here by just by chance just by chance and no matter what other people say, no matter your upbringing, you still believe what you want to believe. Because you are going to believe what you want to believe. Whether you want to or not, doesn't make any sense. Think of it this way. Let's say you're born 
raised to be a Christian. You're born and raised to be a man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. The Holy Trinity. Is it really what you believe? Or is it just what you were told? It doesn't matter. You can believe that. You can believe our creator is a gigantic fucking spaghetti monster and you wear a colander on your head. You can believe that we live in a simulation and everything you know is fake and it's all created digitally. You can believe that the idea of life is just futile. That is fake. That's we're here for no reason. And just the fact that we're here is nothing short of a miracle. What if everything that you see and hear and touch has its place? Just like differing beliefs, just like differing beliefs, different experiences, different ideas, different mindsets. Different beginnings and ends. Some shorter, some longer. I hit my nose on my midnight. This happened. Anyway, it doesn't, it does not matter. I got no rhythm to save my life. But I do believe it makes me happy. And I do it because I believe everything anyone could experience. truly, if at all, be captured in art, in music, in sound. How do you describe sound? How do you describe smell? How do you describe what you see? You, th you see and you think so many different thoughts in a day. What are you thinking about right now? What's on your mind? You can call it intentional thinking, or you can call it delusional. You can call it whatever you want to call it. You can call it, you can say you're sick. You can say you have mental problems. Man. You can say you're depressed. You can say you're schizophrenic. You can say you have ADHD. You can say, you can say all these things. the part of it that you don't think about at least not unless you try to with effort to is you don't think about how, 
how do you explain someone's life? How do you explain their experience? How do you explain what they're feeling? How do you explain? How do you explain? It can't really truly be explained unless you're living in their shoes. Unless you've lived their experiences. Unless you have their background. Unless you are them. How do you explain what someone truly feels is the right thing for them to do? How do you explain how do you explain the fact that people make bad decisions, people make good decisions? And how do you explain the fact that it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. Good shit and bad shit will still happen to you. It doesn't matter if you're the type of, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The point of the, the point of it, the fact that it doesn't fucking So whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to do from this minute on, whether you're going to stop the video, move along, maybe you didn't even make it this far. The way I see it, No matter what choice you make, no matter what action you take, it doesn't matter if it's by yourself and if it only involves you, it doesn't matter if it makes you happy, sad, angry, it doesn't matter if it's something you have to do or something that you want to do, it doesn't matter if someone did this to you or someone did that to you. It doesn't matter what job you have, what position you hold, how much money you make, what religion you serve, you believe in. It doesn't matter how you live your life. What matters is what matters to you. What are you going to do with that? only thing I'm going to leave you with what are you going to do with that I have I am 26 years old going on 27 Two months, I'll be 27 years old. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. No fucking single damn idea. But I do know one thing. Is that ultimately, it doesn't matter. catalyst for what keeps you going and makes you better <laughs> that's up to you what does it look like